Good morning, San Diego. 6.43 on your Wednesday. Good morning to all of you staying at the Hotel Dell this morning. All right, today we are learning a little bit more about what may have caused talk show host Wendy Williams to faint during a live taping of her show yesterday. costume contest we do it every year it's always a lot of fun let's get started our first caress So you may have seen that yesterday when you were watching the Wendy show here on KUSI. Well, the show immediately went to commercial break, but Williams did come back after that commercial break. It was not a stunt. She said she uh, had become overheated in her Statue of Liberty costume. She also later stated that she was suffering from dehydration and has talked a lot on her show, if you watch it, about going through what she calls the life change. Uh, this morning, neurologist Dr. Sarah Siavoshi is here to talk more about dizziness and what that could be um, a symptom of, a greater symptom of. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about um, dizziness as a whole. I mean, we saw it in Wendy, and th there was a lot of other factors going on with her yesterday. But what do you see yeah. uh, with your patients who come in to see you? So dizziness is a huge problem, but it's something that I really appreciate my patients coming in to see me for because more often than not, I have a really sweet senior that comes into my office that was suffering from dizziness and uh, that culminates in a fall resulting in Something sometimes more serious, an right? intra intracranial hemorrhage, a brain bleed, when we could have prevented that fall by addressing the dizziness. Okay, so what is, what what could be some common root causes of this dizziness? So spells? one of the most common things that we see is something called vertigo. Mm -hmm. So vertigo is this illusory term where you are, um, you have the sense that either you yourself or things around you are spinning. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the most common causes of this is something called BPPV, okay. benign proxismal positional vertigo, where uh, as we age, we have these little crystals in the vestibulocochlear system. It's this inner ear apparatus uh -huh. where there's a little bone and these little calcium crystals can fall out of this apparatus and into the endolymphatic fluid, the fluid within the inner ear, causing the uh, sense that we're moving, that our head is okay. moving when it's really not. Okay. So it's characterized by some brief episodes of sudden onset, extreme dizziness, some nausea, mm -hmm. and perhaps some issues with walking, with balance, the whole drunken sailor. Right, okay, we're gonna talk about vertigo in a second, but there's some other things that it could mm -hmm. be other than vertigo Absolutely. that's causing the dizziness. Let's run down some of those things like um, certain medications that you're on could cause it. The hypotension, your blood pressure issue, right? Yeah. Um, Hormone changes, yeah. which is interesting too. So what we saw with Wendy Williams is really interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the other most common causes of just dizziness, not necessarily vertigo, is this orthostatic hypotension. What's that? So what that means is, is so gravity, what comes up must come down, right? Mm -hmm. But when we stand, our blood pulls into our legs. So as you saw there, she was already feeling dizzy. She stood up. Mm -hmm. It could have been that she was dehydrated, mm -hmm. that she was uh, overheated in that really hot, heavy costume. Mm -hmm. um, and as she stood, when our blood pulls to our legs, normally the blood vessels in our legs constrict and pump blood back up to our mm -hmm. heart and our brains. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have enough blood volume because you've been uh, dehydrated or from different medications that can dehydrate you, like blood pressure medications, some prostate medications can do this. Um, the blood just isn't there. So even though your blood vessels are constricting, trying to push blood up to the brain, it, there's just not enough blood volume. And then that results in the dizziness and perhaps even the passing out, like exactly. we're seeing with Wendy. Exactly. Um, so what should people do if they are getting maybe a spell or two of kind of this dizziness in a week, maybe in a month? What should they be doing? So it really depends on the nature of your symptoms. So if you're having symptoms that seem to be consistent with BPPV, mm -hmm. where it's lasting just a few minutes, you're nauseated, it's not persisting, but it's episodic, it comes in waves. That does sound, and it's it's characterized by, triggered by quickly moving your head. Mm -hmm. You can maybe think that that's BPPV, go see a doctor, we can do something called an epley, where we essentially reposition those little crystals 
in back into place and it's a, it's almost uh, an easy fix that seems easy like fix, an easy fix 85 percent cure rate where it doesn't wow. recur anymore okay if you're having dizziness that persists very severe it's impacting your gait especially in the context of other symptoms like speech changes mm. sudden numbness on one side of your body mm -hmm. um, trouble swallowing weakness blurred vision go see a doctor or go to your nearest emergency room to make sure it's not something more malignant like uh, an intracranial lesion, a tumor, a stroke, MS, mm -hmm. things oh. like that. All right. Well, all of this is very important information. Thank you so much for Absolutely. your time this morning. Thank you. All right, young trick-or-treaters can trade their Halloween candy this morning for a great cause and get a little bit of money as well. Ellie Wagner is live for us in Carmel Valley with a candy buyback program. We will check in with her after the break.